the range of her powers are still growing. But if we can get her up there, maybe she can destroy it. Artificial intelligence companies are currently developing even more radical ideas as Google releases its most powerful AI model to date. But the main problem we have to solve is uh, how do we make machines more intelligent? That's a scientific question. If you had a competition about you know, how much you know, it would just wipe out any one person. Do amazing at bar trivia. New materials can supercharge technological breakthroughs, from EV batteries to solar cells to microchips. But discovering them usually takes months or even years of trial and error research. AI researchers have predicted the structures of more than 2 million new materials and published a list of the 381,000 most stable ones. They say their work is currently equivalent to nearly 800 years of knowledge. It's not just about the numbers. It's about a potential transformation in industries ranging from electronics to renewable energy. Let's explore how this game-changing AI is reshaping our future. In a world where the pace of material discovery often felt like a slow crawl, Ginomi has unleashed a paradigm shift. Imagine identifying a staggering 2.2 million new crystal structures a leap equivalent to nearly 800 years of accumulated knowledge. Traditional methods, often labor-intensive and trial and error, are overshadowed by GNOME's exponential acceleration. This isn't just about quantity, but the quality of materials added to the scientific community's knowledge base. Among these discoveries, 381,000 stable materials have been identified, setting a new standard for material stability assessment. Earlier this year, a South Korean lab announced a breakthrough that was pitched as the holy grail of electric efficiency and one that could be a possible real solution to the energy crisis. Lumps of a gray-black polycrystalline compound known as LK99 were presented by scientists at the Seoul-based Korea University in July with accompanying claims that the inputs could be fused to fabricate a superconductor that worked at room, temperature, and at normal pressure claims that subsequently didn't survive the test of scrutiny. But given all the excitement triggered by the prospect of just one such breakthrough material, a new announcement by researchers at Google DeepMind in late November could have Brobdingnagian implications. These researchers used artificial intelligence to predict the structures of more than two million new materials. This breakthrough could have wide-reaching applications in renewable energy, battery research, semiconductor design, and computing efficiency sectors. Google DeepMind hopes to change that with a new tool that uses deep learning to speed up the discovery of new materials dramatically. Called Graphical Networks for Material Exploration, Genome AI, the technology has already been used to predict structures for 2.2 million new materials, of which more than 700 have gone on to be created in the lab and are now being tested. Nomi was trained using data on material structures and their stability from the materials project. Next, the researchers had Gino ME suggest new structures that its model determined would likely be stable. Established computational techniques were used to assess the stability of the materials generated by Gino ME more accurately. This high-quality data was fed back into GNOME, increasing its stability prediction accuracy. GNOME isn't just about discovering new materials, it's about understanding them at a fundamental level. The sheer scale as well as the diversity of data generated by GNOME have given birth to highly accurate and robust learned interatomic potentials. In simpler terms, it means we can predict how these materials behave and their stability with unprecedented accuracy. This isn't just a leap in quantity, it's a quantum leap in quality, paving the way for enhanced modeling capabilities in downstream applications. Traditionally, finding stable materials took a lot of work and effort. GNOME's methodology showcases the power of integrating advanced AI and machine learning with material science. The efficiency and scale at which new materials can be discovered and analyzed have undergone a seismic shift. It's not just a discovery. It's a testament to the transformative effect of AI and machine learning in scientific research. It kicks off by generating a 
diverse range of potential crystal structures using symmetry-aware partial substitutions and a random structure search. This isn't your typical trial-and-error approach. It's a smart blend of science and innovation. Enter the graph neural networks, GNNs, the unsung heroes of this story. They evaluate and predict the stability and properties of these candidate structures, adapting and refining their predictive models through an active learning loop. To develop GenoMe, Google DeepMind used a training process called Active Learning that boosted its performance. GenoMe can generate predictions for the structures of novel, stable crystals, which were then tested, resulting in high-quality training data fed back into model training. The company's research ultimately boosted the discovery rate of material stability prediction from roughly 50% to 80%. In addition, Google DeepMind scaled up model efficiency by improving the discovery rate from less than 10% to 80%, highlighting how increased uh, speed could impact the required computing per discovery. Improving discoveries within the technology sector holds great potential to have a revolutionary effect on humanity. Enterprises using trained AI models to improve services and extend the impact of AI can lead to more discoveries, delivering better results for people and products. The company adds, Our research and that of collaborators at the Berkeley Lab, Google Research and teams around the world shows the potential to use AI to guide materials discovery, experimentation and synthesis. But because there are so many combinations, it could be more efficient to do this process blindly. Instead, researchers build upon existing structures, making small tweaks to discover new combinations that hold potential. However, this detailed process is still very time-consuming. Also, because it builds on existing structures, it limits the potential for unexpected discoveries. To overcome these limitations, DeepMind combines two different deep learning models. The first generates more than a billion structures by modifying elements in existing materials. The second, however, ignores existing structures and predicts the stability of new materials purely based on chemical formulas. Combining these two models allows for a much broader range of possibilities. In its first round, Genome predicted the stability of different materials with a precision of around 5% but it increased quickly throughout the iterative learning process. The final results show Genome managed to predict the stability of structures over 80% of the time for the first model and 33% for the second. Using AI models to come up with new materials is not a novel idea. The Materials Project, a program led by Kristen Person at Berkeley Lab, has used similar techniques to discover and improve the stability of 48,000 materials. However, Genome's size and precision set it apart from previous efforts. It was trained on at least an order of magnitude more data than any previous model, says Chris Bartell, an assistant professor of chemical engineering as well as materials science at the University of Minnesota. Doing similar calculations has previously been expensive and limited in scale, says Yifei Mo, an associate professor of materials science as well as engineering at the University of Maryland. NOMI allows these computations to scale up with higher accuracy and at much less computational cost. Mo says the impact can be huge. Once new materials have been identified, synthesizing them and proving their usefulness is equally important. Berkeley Lab's new autonomous laboratory named the A-Lab, has been using some of Genome's discoveries with the materials project information, integrating robotics with machine learning to optimize the development of such materials. As we wrap up this journey through the realms of artificial intelligence, materials discovery, and practical synthesis, let's think of the implications. The discoveries made by Genome are not just about scientific breakthroughs, they hold the promise of a more sustainable and technologically advanced future. From energy-efficient batteries to revolutionary solar panels, Genome's contributions are paving the way for a greener and smarter tomorrow. 
What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section below. If you liked today's video, then leave a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. See you again soon in another video.